United. It huh. feels so good. We're listening to David Archuleta. He's also here with us today. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm sitting there picking his brain. Right. But I'm thinking, if I'm David Archuleta and I'm next to us, he's probably going, man, it's like hanging out with my older brother, man. He's going to be cool. That's my aunt and uncle. Yeah. <laughs> this is lame. Because we're asking him about all his, high, his Hollywood lifestyle. Right. We're trying that. to live vicariously through yeah. you, Come David. On. Oh, well, I'm not much of a life to live through. I That's don't know it. about that. Hometown hero, <laughs> yeah. American Idol, three years ago, and then your career hasn't stopped since. Um, yeah, I've been keeping pretty busy. So, And one of the reasons we have you on today is because we're going to talk about it in a little bit later, but you're seeing with the, the Motab. Is that what the young kids are calling it? The Motab? <laughs> <laughs> No, Maybe. no. Well, I actually did it. I actually performed with them last year, and it will air on PBS this year. Oh, and so oh you can, really? And you can get the CD and DVD, and now Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. um, you can get that, and you can watch the concert and listen to it, and or watch it on PBS starting December thirteenth through Christmas. What was it like? Yeah. Oh man, it was amazing. It was. Like, I, it blew my mind, I mean, because especially, you know, being in Utah, growing up with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir mm -hmm. music, it, um, when I got invited to come and be the special guest, I was just pretty stunned. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and, you know, I don't think a lot of people in Utah know what a treasure they are, the, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. I agree. Right. Mean, Grammy Award winners, and, uh, I mean, the, the sound that they create and the music they make is just life-changing. I mean, it's, it's very cool. And yeah. for you, a chance to get up there and sing with them, I mean, that's got to be something right off the bucket list. Yeah, I mean, I it was something that I always thought, wow, how cool would that be? But I never even, I just never even thought that I would yeah. sing with them like that because I just thought, oh, well, how cool would that be? But not that it's going to happen. Yeah, I hadn't thought of it, it as a reality. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been three and a half years since you were on American Idol. Yeah. So what's going on now? What's happened in that time frame? Um, just been recording. Uh, been going on tour. I went. I did an Asian tour this summer, and um, then I, uh, I I just came back from Hong Kong a couple weeks ago. I shot a music video there. Oh, really? So that'll be coming out in the next few weeks. So this so. is your new single, as the kids say, will be dropping when. <laughs> That's so uh, you, know, you are. It's so um. It's uh, you know, it's inter It's it was a song that was on my Asian tour edition of my album, so it's not. I haven't been able to release it over here because just because of legal issues. But mm -hmm. now I now I can. So we're working that out right now. But um, I'm sure you know you. Uh, the video will be able to. You can watch it online and things on YouTube. And, and so the uh, name of the song is? It's called Wait. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now, you know, we, we have a lot of singers in from time to time here and on the morning show. And a lot of times we hear, you know, oh, I can't do that because of my contract. And especially with American Idol, I understand that was just like an ironclad deal. So is it kind of nice to be out of that and being able to do your own thing now? Yeah, it is really nice because you have a m lot more flexibility to try different things. Mm -hmm. It's not just, well, this is the set way. While it may be a more of a guarantee and more um, like you know, okay, the, it's you're able to tell what's going to happen next. More, you're in, it's like you're not able to try different things and m pursue more of a direction that you would like to go. More say, and so it's uh, it's been it's been a challenge, but it's been a good challenge. Um, you learn a lot. To, oh yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah, you learn a lot, and I, I guess you learn a lot really fast. But that's how you grow. Um, just through what all are those. the things that you've learned that you did not expect to learn, either about the business or yourself? I guess just the business side. Period. I didn't know there was a, a business side that existed with music. You thought that if we just, just played thought, the music and it was fun, everybody got paid. Well, I just, I just thought you did. Um, you just found songs, wrote songs, recorded them, and released them. I thought that's how it worked, and whoever liked them would listen to them. How does it work? Um, well, I guess, I mean, oh, man, <laughs> um, there's just a lot more that goes into it. Where, is it politics? Is it BS and both, all of it? Well, I mean, it's, it was a great, ex it's a great experience, really. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you, you meet some great people, but I guess when you just, when you have different views on different things, you, um, there's a lot of negotiating, a lot of contracts, a lot of political things in music because in music business is a business so right. I guess it runs however any other business would run and whatever um, things would happen behind in a business same thing for the music business. So what did you go into it wanting and what are your goals now? Have they changed? Um, they have because to be honest going into it I didn't 
I didn't really expect anything to happen, so I didn't really know what goals to have. I yeah. just thought, well, I just want to sing. Uh, my goals were already, it's like they already happened before I even could grasp my mind around it. Being able to sing in front of people and be able to share music that I love to do and be able to record an album and that all just already, it's like, oh, that all just happened, but I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> so Let me ask you this because uh, uh I've got nieces. Uh, <laughs> is David Archuleta got a girlfriend? You, uh, what, what, no. what's going on in that front? Uh, you know, I, I, for now I'm just working. That's the main thing I'm focusing on. So I, I don't know. I guess I just haven't found that person uh, yet, huh? Or you're just you're, you're not. Well, I don't even. How feel do you even old get out there? At, at, you know, in your position, how do you even get out there and date when you're such a known figure? I think it's actually easier to meet people because. Oh, because you got I that mean, access. Before, no, I mean, I just, I didn't really meet people before, so now it's like you're, you have to meet people. You have to learn how to put yourself out there and be um, uh, social. And, yeah. Because I was kind of a hermit before. I was very antisocial. And quiet. now you're forced to be out there. Yeah, I mean, I had to learn how to talk and I had to learn how to Well, and it seems like in that people. industry, there's so much rejection that, you know, getting uh, yeah. rejected by girls, like no biggie probably. At this <laughs> you point. don't know rejection until you're sitting <laughs> in a boardroom and have nine executives rip you a new one because they don't like your music. Yeah, probably. Your little right? knows nothing to me. <laughs> no, I mean, it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> you know? Totally. Next. No, <laughs> you know, like, no, it's good. I mean... Uh, you know, I think there've been there've been times where you're able to get to know people and get to, you know, go out on like a fun day or f fun date or something like that, but nothing serious. Well, speaking it's of just, fun day, what do you have coming up for Thanksgiving? You'll be in, here in Utah? Yes, I'm here. I'm here for the holidays. I mean, for Thanksgiving holiday, <laughs> and um, gonna be having some Thanksgiving dinner with the family, so it'll, that'll be good. Yeah, and December nineteenth, you're doing what? December 19th, I'll be back in Salt Lake um, for a Christmas show at Abravano Hall. So that'll be fun. I'll be going on a Christmas tour that starts, oh man, um, next I, week. <laughs> I saw you two years ago with Kurt Bester for a Christmas show, and oh, it was amazing. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, we want to tell, we want you to stick around.